Now, why didn't we test this model in air instead? Surely that would have been easier than this business here towing it behind a little boat. If we tried to test it in air and we wanted to have the Reynolds number of the model equal to the Reynolds number of the prototype, then we would have had no factor of 15 here for the difference in viscosities. In that case, we'd have to have 30 times higher velocity. We'd wind up with a velocity of about 180 meters per second. And that 180 meters per second is fast compared to the speed of sound. So, test in air. Velocity for the model would have to be equal to viscosity for the model over viscosity for the prototype. That's just equal to 1 because it's the same fluid. Length for the prototype over length for the model times velocity for the prototype. That's 30 times 6 is 180 meters per second. That's roughly 403 miles per hour. Speed of sound in air is about 340 meters per second. So, Mach number effects become important. We no longer have the situation where the flow is incompressible and it would behave in a totally different way. So when the Mach number gets to be here a number around one, or sorry, around one half, then our Mach number effects are important and we'll no longer have the drag coefficient being only a function of Reynolds number. So from a practical point of view, we can't test in here. Also, very difficult and expensive to try to operate a wind tunnel at 403 miles an hour, 180 meters per second.